Hi guys, welcome to the session where we're going to be looking at addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions with different denominator. In the previous uh, video in this series, we looked at the common denominator. So this time we're going to be looking at different denominators. Now, the idea behind this is that even though they are different denominators, you're going to try and bring it to a common denominator. So in this case, I've got a denominator of 3 and 4. So I know that the lowest common multiple between 3 and 4 is 12. So I need to change the denominator into 12. So for the first fraction, I have to multiply the denominator by 4 and the numerator by 4. And as for the second fraction, I need to multiply the denominator by 3 and the numerator by 3. And when I do this, I'm going to get 4x over 12 plus 5x times 3 is 15x over 12. And because they are now common denominators, I can put this whole fraction under the same denominator, which is 12. Now combining 4 and 15, I get 19x over 12. And that's basically it. Uh, let's look at another example. This time we have, uh, well, we have actually got three fractions, but with denominators of 2, 3, and 6. Now with 2, 3, and 6, I know that the lowest common multiple is actually 6. So what I need to do is I need to change x over 2 with a denominator of 6, x over 3 with a denominator of 6. But with x over 6, I can just leave it as it is. So with the first fraction, I need to multiply the denominator by 3 and the numerator by 3. The second fraction, I need to multiply the denominator by 2 and the numerator by 2 because that's, this is all going to give me a common denominator of 6. So doing this first, x times 3 is 3x over 6, plus x times 2 is 2x over 6, and plus x over 6. So I basically have 3x plus 2x plus 1x, and the whole thing over 6. This could be simplified as 6x over 6. And now because I've got two 6s, they cancel out each other, leaving me with an answer of just x. Okay, one more question, folks. And this time, I don't actually have numbers in the denominator. I actually have a, den um, a variable in the denominator. So with this case, um, what I need to do is I need to convert 3. Uh, I need to convert, well, I'm looking for a common factor between 3 and 3x. And the lowest common multiple is going to be 3x. So in other words, I need to multiply the second equation, the denominator with x and the numerator with x. And when I do that, I get 1 over 3x plus 5 times x is 5x, and that's over 3x. Now, putting it all under the same denominator, I have 1 plus 5x over 3x. Now guys, unfortunately, you cannot simplify this any further. It actually stops here because in the numerator you don't have any like terms. And that's how you got that's how we do this addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions with different denominators. Alright? You find the common denominator and then you combine the fractions together. Cool. Any questions, pop it in the comments, guys, and thank you for watching.